Yeah, but was, this was not the first picture you shot for uh, Martin Scorsese, but can you tell us something about the challenges you had to face when you did Goodfellas? Uh, yeah, the challenges were pretty hard in a way because it was a lot of violence and uh, I'm not in favor of violence a lot, but Marty is. <laughs> and Marty loves blood. <laughs> and he wants more more blood and more blood. <laughs> and Marty, it's enough blood. No, it's not enough. Give me more blood. <laughs> so that, that, that was a little tough for me sometimes. Yeah, it was hard, but you know, if you have the chance to work with Marty Scorsese, you do whatever he wants. And, uh, so you gave him blood? Yes, <laughs> I gave him blood. <laughs> And that, sometimes I said, it's enough, Marty. So, no, it's not. <laughs> but you also gave him one of the most um, spectacular camera movements in film history, the scene when the guys are, uh, when he, Reliotta, and uh, they go into the uh, Copacabana. Copacabana. Um, yeah. Was that your idea? It was already in the script. And how did you manage that? It was his idea, but I had to... Um, make it work. So it wasn't it wasn't easy. It was very hard because we were going. I mean, you you know the shot, and uh, I don't know. Um, maybe I should explain the shot a little bit because not everybody has probably seen it. So we had first of all, it starts outside, and he gives his key to one guy, and then he goes through a long dark corridor, and there are guys who are. There with a girl and stuff, and he's like saying hello to everybody and gives everybody money, and and then um, he goes through a kitchen, and everybody knows him in the kitchen too, and they all said say hello to him, and so it's incredible, and we did that all with a steady cam, but to go with a steady cam through a kitchen, where, where it's it's working kitchen, so um, it was you know when you touch the steady cam. The shot is gone, you know, it, it moves very fast. And then you go through the kitchen, and then while we were going through the kitchen, they changed the entrance, and then we came out to go into the Copacabana, and there were a guy like with a, uh, a the table, table yeah. flying through the air, and they set the table right in front of so the stage, and there were people on the next uh, table, and they said hello, and they brought the bottle of wine and things like that. So the girl was, she couldn't close her mouth anymore. <laughs> she was like, who is, this, who is this guy? And then she said, what are you doing? And then he said, I'm a union delegate. And, <laughs> and she said, your hands don't look like that. <laughs> so it was, she was, I mean, she couldn't believe it. She, she thought, he's, she's a boss. He's a, Mafia boss. Yeah. <laughs> did you do that more than once or did it oh, work yes. for the first time? How often? I mean, first we rehearsed it. Yeah. It worked like, um, uh, no, not the steady cam, but with a small camera, um, with a digital camera, um, to find out where, where the problems are. And once we've done that, figured that out, where the movement in the kitchen should be and all that, then we started with a steady cam, and it was the best steady cam operator um, that you had in New York. Unfortunately, I forgot his name um, because my memory of the names is terrible. We, we look uh, in the credits after. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, and then we shot it, um, and as far as I remember, we shot it eight times. And then finally, we had like two or three really good takes. And one thing was funny that happened. Um, one of the best takes, that is always the take that doesn't work, is the best take. <laughs> this is the rule <laughs> in this business. So the best take was that um, this comedian who comes on stage, he forgot his line. <laughs> and he had said this line about 100 times. <laughs> and he forgot his line. He was standing there. Dumbfounded and, and couldn't remember his life. And everybody's going, oh. <laughs> but okay, so finally we got it up. But it was really, it was difficult, especially for my steady cam operator, who was um, really brilliant, brilliant guy. You once said that this is one of your favorite, if not 
the favorite movie. Why? I think it was my favorite movie because because of Marty directed it and Marty knew so much about the Mafia that everything was authentic. <laughs> <laughs> <It> was <really> <laughs> authentic. <laughs> and that was, the that was... That, that was... Okay, not the blood, that's true. <laughs> but um, then he knew everything about it because he grew up in Little Italy and his best friend was the son of the Mafia boss. So he knew everything about uh, the Mafia. And it was authentic and it was a great script. And it, it was, sometimes it was fun, sometimes it was not, just always like that. But I think it's one, one of my best movies. It's not my favorite movie, but it's one of my best. I think it's my best. Age of Innocence is my favorite. Yeah, I understand that. <laughs> that's like the other way around. Right? That's the opposite of that. But in general, working with Marty is uh, wonderful. It's perfect because he, is, he knows so much about and he is so precise in his information and his direction. and. The actors are wonderful, and uh, so, yeah, it was great, it was wonderful. And now I can't see it in 4K, unfortunately, but everybody told me it looked great in 4K. <coughs> and that is good news, because then it looks like, it looks like film, and that's what you want when you shoot in digital and then you see it uh, and it looks like film, that's the best thing that can happen. Yeah. But is it very expensive to do that in 4K? <laughs> well, that's what's easy, it's good in uh, finding funds. <laughs> no, it is, uh, it is very, uh, it's very costly. Yes, and it also the projector is also very expensive. Well, that's nowadays the normal, um, not normal, but for the early now it's normal equipment, and yes. But did, don't you think it was worse to spend the money on good fellows? Yes. <laughs> well, this is a good answer. I hope you will, you will have the opportunity to see more of Michael Ballas' movies um, and to join them as well. Thank you very much. <laughs>